Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna be honest at the start of this one, uh, there almost wasn't a vlog this week and instead there would have been a short message just to let you guys know that I was going to be taking a few weeks break from it, uh, this is because I actually ended up losing my voice last week, um, so as I've mentioned a few times, the issues that I've been getting with my jaw is also like affecting other things like my throat and my ears and stuff like that, so um, I did actually reach a point where everything was so tight it gave me laryngitis, <laughs> it's the best way of describing the situation I was in last week, um, and after a lot of like thought and, and debating, about what the best thing to do with was um, I decided to just record a message, a quick one, saying that I'd be taking a few weeks break just because, you know, I have to start taking care of myself and, you know, doing these vlogs does put a lot of pressure on my jaw, which wasn't helping with the situation. Um, however, after a few days of very strict rest um, during last week and, you know, getting work on board with the idea of not making me talk for a few days, um things settled down enough for me to actually regain my voice um so i'm now in a position where i can speak again and i'm like well i don't necessarily want to take a couple of weeks break if i don't need to take a couple of weeks break having said that um i have decided based on this that one of the things i need to do going forward is to give myself the space of taking a week's break if needed. I mean, obviously, most of the time I'm filming these towards the end of the week before. So, you like when you get the break would be different from when I've actually needed the break, um, if that makes sense. So you'll be like a week behind when the when the break actually happens. But I sort of wanted to start this one off by sort of like saying, like I can't predict what is going to happen in terms of my jaw pain and how it's affecting the rest of me and stuff like that so i if i need to i will just take a week's break and there won't be a, a vlog that week and it will you know there'll be one the, the week after or however it works um sometimes i might need a little bit more of a break sometimes i might need a little bit less of a break um although i don't know how you can get less in a week um, and it, it's one of those things where, like, sometimes you're going to notice that there's going to be a missing one and, you know, a missed week and, and other times that there won't be, um, that's just, you know, how I feel like going forward. I need to tackle this, I need to sort of put out there that, you know, sometimes I'm going to need the opportunity to just not talk uh, for a week or to have a good few days rest so that, you know, things can go a bit more back to normal. Um, before sort of like going forward and, 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 and doing anything else. Um, although, you know, one of the things that I have noticed in regards to my jaw pain, and this is something that I will probably mention um, when I do go see the specialist, still waiting on that letter to arrive and like it's running out of time for me to get that letter at this point and I'm like, why do I not have this letter yet? Um, so, um, the last time I mentioned that my jaw pain had sort of eased off slightly, I did sort of like say there might be a couple of other reasons other than like the temperature for why it was easing off slightly. It is something that I've noticed the month before. Uh, it's something I noticed last month and it's something that I've now noticed again this month. Is it the easing off of some of my jaw pain, it seems to fall in line with my cycle and certain points in my cycle um, and that's getting me wondering if some of the hormonal changes um, that happen during my cycle is having effect on how bad the pain is um, because you know that can affect things in, in a lot of my <laughs> and most of my joints this point in my cycle is when things have flared up a lot. Um, so like everything else, like flares all the way up and that's that's kind of where I know where I am sort of like hormonally during my cycle. Um, 
but this last and it didn't like if it just been this time i wouldn't be thinking about it if it just been like last time i wouldn't be thinking about it the fact that it's now happened three consistent cycles at around the same sort of point um i've had a decrease in jaw pain suggests to me there is a connection there um granted yes some of that also coincides with me either not talking as much or doing various other things um but that was only during like the first one during like the second cycle where things sort of eased off no i was actually probably doing too much um so i like if it happens again next month then you know then it's definitely a pattern i, I think at this point it's definitely a pattern it's definitely something i plan to mention because like the more things i i notice um and the more things i can sort of like say the the, the better it sort of is um you know the, the the more they can sort of like do with that information and, and try to figure things out um but yeah it, it is one of those things that i've noticed the last three cycles around the same point in the cycle my jaw pain does reduce considerably um whilst everything else goes really painful <laughs> so there's no break from the pain um and even when i say like the jaw pain reduces considerably it's still irritated it's still nagging it's still there in the background but how I'm able to talk now compared to how I was able to talk like the last vlog that I filmed like I noticed a huge amount of difference um as I said it's still not comfortable it's still like the pain is still there uh it's just more a case of this point in my cycle for some reason my jaw pain reduces um and then very quickly after this phase of my cycle ends the jaw pain tends to shoot back up again not necessarily right away but definitely within like a few days um of like my hormone levels readjusting again like as everything else as the pain and everything else eases off the jaw pain like shoots back up again so i definitely think there is a connection there um and from looking things up it is possible there is a connection there um i mean what my other joints are doing is generally the more common way around for this to work but it's not impossible for it to work the other way around in this particular situation depending on what's going on with my jaw to begin with i mean it's one of those things where because i don't actually know what's wrong with my jaw i can't say with 100 percent certainty what is affecting it and what isn't affecting it however i do know based on certain things that this seems to be fairly consistent and this seems to be fairly consistent and this seems to be fairly consistent which is all sort of maybe indicating towards one particular thing um or one particular cause for my jaw pain but at the same time until i get it examined until i get it like looked into and like properly assessed there is no way for me to know for sure what is causing it and it could be more serious than i think it could be more benign than i think um it could be exactly what i think but until i actually get it looked at i'm not going to know um which is kind of like the frustrating situation that i'm in now at the moment in time all i can do is make a note of all the things that i notice and then when i go and see the specialist just like have a list of things of going okay i've noticed this i've noticed this i've noticed this i've noticed this um these all seem to be things that kind of affect it quite a bit i notice like if the pain is really bad it does affect like my voice um and the worse the pain is the more my voice is affected um although it like, also doesn't help that i've spent like two days in work talking normally so my voice is sounding a little like like dry uh, today but i would i would argue like compared to the last couple of videos that i've filmed my voice is probably sounding a lot better um still not sounding great because the pain is still there it's like <laughs> the pain hasn't gone the tension is still there it's just how much that tension or how tight that tension is and how much of that tension is, is affecting my my voice and my voice is not going to sound great as long as my jaw pain continues to be uncontrollable um however as, as i said i've noticed there are definitely certain factors that will increase or decrease um the amount of discomfort and pain and the amount that that then ends up affecting my voice um so yeah it is definitely one of those situations where i'm like right now i just need to make a whole bunch of notes of all the stuff that's going on um and be a little bit more careful and more sensible with what i am doing because the the fluctuation when it fluxes up really really high 
it's not fun to live with and it is like affecting my ability to do stuff I know the stuff that it's affecting is my ability to speak but that is still a stuff that is very important in my line of work so it is affecting my ability to work if I can't talk um that's not to say that I can't do stuff without talking or I can't like write stuff or I can't whisper if I need to but it does slow things down it does make things a lot and then it was, was one of the huge frustrations that I found last week when I was doing my best to reduce the amount that I spoke as much as possible uh, during the days when I was in work is it is very frustrating not talking um, so it, it's one of those things where it does like have an impact on my ability to work if I can't talk so I need to figure out all the things that are aggravating it and the, like the risk factors and the things that I need to be avoiding and also noticing things like you know temperature effects and like the various points in my cycle and, and what makes it worse during my, like those kinds of things um yeah like the more information I have now the the sort of like better in the long run because as I said when I go to the specialist I can go okay this 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 um and then you know we can work out hopefully some sort of plan of action which is going to help me in the long run because <laughs> i I'm, I'm beyond the point now of going okay this is gonna just go away and i'm going to reach a point where like the jaw pain is not going to be a thing anymore um i like i live with chronic pain anyway so i know it doesn't work like that like my body is not the type of body that's ever going to be pain free and i have accepted that and i'm okay with that but that doesn't mean that you know i don't want to reach a point where the pain is manageable and can you know it's i'm not getting like the big long prolonged flare-up that i'm getting with it right now um at least want to sort of be in a position where it's comfortable uh, more often than not because like most of my body yeah i'll get like the flare-ups of pain but most of the time it's comfortable it's just like a flare-up in that moment or a flare-up for a few days and, and stuff like that um at the moment my jaw is just constantly uncomfortable it's, it's really hard to sort of do anything with it um and you know stuff like that so i just kind of want to reach a point where <laughs> things are easier <laughs> Um, and as I said, one of the things I realised um, from last week that I need to sort of be prepared for is not being able to, to film a vlog every single week. Um, I just sort of basically lay that out there now and let you guys know, like, it's okay if I don't have a vlog one particular week, just assume that I'm in too much pain and just move on from it. Um, yeah, I, I think that's, you know how I'm going to move forward with things and as I said in my, my own sort of on my own side of things I'm making notes of stuff I'm preparing for this visit to the specialist I just wish it would actually happen and I would get the letter through and I would know when when it was because I really really need to see someone about this sooner rather than later at this point because it's been going on since February well February is when I was referred it's going it's been going on like been getting steadily worse since the end of last year so I've been dealing with this now for more than six months. Um, like it's not a situation that I want to be in, but there is also nothing I can do about it. Um, so yeah, it's it is what it is. And as I said, going forward, I'm going to play it by ear with whether or not I'm going to be filming any more vlogs or filming a vlog for that week. Um, and then I will always sort of like film vlogs on weeks when it's you know more comfortable for me to be filming vlogs um, because I still enjoy doing this and I don't want to give this up um, but it's about accommodating my own needs within that structure if that makes sense all right um sorry this is another sort of jaw meh ranty kind of one <laughs> not even ranty but like updatey I guess um hopefully the next vlog will be more interesting so that'll be something to look forward to maybe um and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others. And if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. See ya.